All right, first I want to give praises unto Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father. Double praises unto the Mashiach, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of God, the Savior. Double praises unto the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Wisdom, that gives us this truth and this knowledge to understand the Bible prophecy and opens our eyes up to this truth. All praises go to all three of them. Barak, Haba, Bishem, blessed be he who comes in the name of Yahweh, blessed be his name. Barak, Atah, Adonai, Elohinu, Melech, Ha, Olan, blessed art thou, O Yahweh, our God, King of the universe. All praises go to all three of them. Now, this is a band that I've exposed before, and I got a lot of hate from it, but I don't really care if people get angry from me exposing this band. It's satanic. See, the problem today is people go off their own emotions. They go off their own emotions rather than going off the Bible which the Bible says not to go off your own interpretation, your own feelings. Yet many people do that today. They go, oh, this band's not satanic, this band's not satanic. That's what I got when I first exposed this band. They were like, this band's not satanic. And they were full of devil horns and everything, as you'll see even more proof with this. And people say, oh, it's not satanic, it's not satanic. Straight away we see the ring of fire, a known symbol of witchcraft. As I showed in a video before, it's also connected to the solar eclipse. As we all know that solar eclipse is this complete fake. It's complete fake. They act like it's some once in a lifetime event when no it isn't. It happens all the time. It's when the moon and the sun Ch basically change its colours. Now and again, the moon and the sun are going to come, uh, come past one another, which proves again that the Earth is flat. Because for it to happen multiple times, proves the Earth is flat. Because, again, they say, oh, the, the moon and the sun are a billion miles away. Lies. Lies. So this represents, one, the ring of fire, which is a symbol of witchcraft. And also it simulates the so-called fake solar eclipse. Clearly sees the ring of fire. That's why in like circuses and that, they do the ring of fire. The ring of fire is a cult. It simulates witchcraft. As it said, what does it say in the Bible? And you shall not pass your children through fire again that's why they do it in the circus and not passing through fire fire is witchcraft and as you see again what do we have here the fallen angels again she's got a chain around her neck what does that simulate the bible when it says for if god did not spare the angels but delivered them into chains of darkness until the day of judgment so again, the fallen angels are not ever going to be spared. God just chained them up, and they're going to be chained up until the day of judgment. And then on the day of judgment, these fallen angels are going to go in to be judged and punished for their sins and their crimes that they have done. So again, we have the fallen angel... We had the one eye symbolism, the black and white as well, all part of the agenda. Again, we see this is clearly a fallen angel. Since when the angels have like spikes on the top of the head, never. This represents a fallen angel. There we go, the bottom of the head. I mean, it really, it just seems like they just repeat the same music video because of its spores. One of their music videos is basically similar to this. It just sounds, seems like, because this is what they do, just copy the same regurgitated garbage. So we got the head of the bottom there, the skull. 
and then we got this the light the light the song is called starlight now what is the in the bible lucifer known as the morn the morning star lucifer is known as the morning star son of the dawn as it says how how all oh how lucifer son of the morning how art thou cut down to the ground which did it weaken the nations you have said in thy heart i will ascend the, above the clouds like above the clouds like the most high and i shall be like the most high so again this represents satan it, it's pretty obvious the average person that's never ever read the Bible or anything is just going to think that this is a normal light. No, it isn't. You'll see that they start worshipping it. There you go. Why are they reaching up? Why are they reaching up to this light? Because it represents Lucifer. Again, the black and white. It represents Lucifer because Lucifer is known as the false light. Again, the light bearer, the light bringer the false light that's why in the bible where it says lucifer son of the morning it's basically a fake light it's basically the way of god mocking lucifer so again you see the light the false light lucifer is known as a light a false light again we got the one eye symbolism notice that one eye is darkened you can hardly see it and they zoom in one eye, one eye symbolism. Again, there we go, one eye symbolism again. And again, this is most likely a mockery of the prophets of the Bible. Because again, we know the prophets of the Bible would wear stuff like this, garments and that. That's what it was known as, garments. So again, mocking the Israelites. Again, notice how they're worshipping this false light. Again, simulates Lucifer. That's what it simulates. So again, we have a song called Starlight, and it's just them worshipping the star all the way through it. Again, many songs out there. Ariana Grande, The Light Is Coming. It all simulates the same thing. Lucifer. And as we see, and people said that this band isn't satanic. I mean, give me a break, man. And anyone that says they're not satanic clearly is one delusional and ignorant. They are satanic, there's no doubt about it. And you notice that in most of these instances, they look like children. The reason that is because in K-pop and J-pop, it's a, it is a very, very dark industry. They basically recruit them at an early, very, very early age. They, they'll even recruit them to the age of like six. And then they'll, many of them, that's why you see many of them in like K-pop, they look like they got perfect faces. They're forced basically to have plastic surgery. They're told what to eat what to say in interviews, they're told what to say, they have no free will at all, they have nothing, once you join the K-pop and J-pop industry, you're basically a slave, you are a slave, you, you are told what to say in interviews, if they're in a few interview and they're asked certain questions, if they're manager and that says, right, you can't say that, they, they can't say anything, they're told what to say, what to do, what to wear, what hairstyle to have, the way they dress. They're told what to eat. This is not a joke. Go look it up. Go look at K-pop. They're told what to eat. They can only eat certain stuff. Joke. They, they can only eat stuff like noodles and that. It's a joke. And they're, they're not allowed to have a relationship either with a woman. They're not allowed. They're not allowed. So again, they have no freedom at all. So again, they're nothing but a slave. So again, this is the price for fame in this industry. You got no freedom, really. This is the real meaning of selling your soul. Because that's what it means. You sell your soul, you sell your whole life away. 
So again, thrown at the devil horns, thrown at six 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 hand time, thrown at the devil horns, wearing the colours red, black and white, Satanism colours. Oh but these this group's not satanic though, is it? There we go, you see how uh, how young they they were. This is why they do it. Because again they hire them dead early. So and most of them most of the parents will sell their own children into Hollywood so they can make money off them. So sick these people really are. Again, oh, this group's not satanic, it's not satanic, throwing the devil horns out all the time. Right there, throwing up the fake peace sign, which is actually just a Baphomet hand sign, throwing up the devil horns all the time. But of course, they're not satanic though, are they? From the 666 hand sign all the time, devil horns, this devil horns, that. Again, garbage. Again, people still, the fans, though, you'll see later on, the fans are just even more blasphemous than this group. One eye symbolism, one eye symbolism, and again, You'll notice that black robe simulates the occult at their sex ritual parties. As I've said many times, that movie, Eyed Wise Short, is not even half of what goes on behind closed doors. And if you think that Eyes Wide Short movie promotes 100% truth, wrong. It doesn't even promote half of what goes on in Hollywood. They're not going to tell you everything that goes on in Hollywood. They're not going to. They're going to expose their plans in plain sight. Devil hunt again and again and again, over and over again. One eye symbolism. But of course, this group's not satanic, are they? Again, devil horns. Over and over again, same garbage. Always throwing again to it. She's obviously, they took the show shelf. Because again, this is what they get told. If you speak out against the industry, we'll take you out. Again, devil horns, devil horns, over and over again. This is what they do. They, this is what they do. And, and again, these this group is obviously most likely influencing children to basically become out and be Satanist. That's what, why they do it. Again, devil horns, devil horns, devil horns. And then you got the one eye symbolism. What a joke. Again, one eye symbolism there. You see how young they are. This is what they do. They hire it on a young age so they can brainwash them more easily. There we go, the one on one eye symbolism in the devil horns and the six 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 hand sign. Again, notice the black fingernails, which is a known thing of witchcraft. I mean, anyone that's involved in rock and roll is no doubt involved in witchcraft. Because again, the rock and roll, well, it's not really rock and roll, it's a Satan, Satanist metal, that's really all it is. Again, notice again the devil horns again, notice the pagan love heart in the background, and the, the fake angel wings, what does it say in Satan's servant? Monastery of the self as angels of light. So again, one eye symbolism, the one hand over the eye. Oh, but the, this group's not satanic. They're not satanic. Again, it proves that people just go all off their own emotions. Or going off your own emotions, crying and saying, no, these are not satanic. They are satanic. No matter what you say is not going to change who this band really is, the satanic. Again, notice again, the Knights Templars cross. Again, the Nazi cross. There we go again, the devil horns, devil horns. Oh, but they're doing, they don't know what they're doing right, isn't it? They don't know what they're doing. Yeah, sure they don't. In, in, again, in a, in a coffin, promoting death. Because that's exactly what rock and roll promotes. Death promotes Satanism. Again, 666, devil horns. This does not re mean rock on like they want to say. 666 does not mean rock on either. 
so uh, so this is what makes you laugh with people today they say oh the 666 hand sign means okay what's it got to do with rock and roll why are they throwing it oh what's it got to do with rock and roll nothing that's why Again, the one eye symbolism, the, the, the reason they throw this up, one triangle with the all seeing eye represents the eye of Horus. And again, devil horns over and over again, always standing in that, in that pyramid p formation. Always standing in the pyramid formation. Again, devil horns over and over and over again. Over and over again, saying crap. Again, as you can see, there's no excuse. Oh, they don't know what they're doing. Again, there we go. It's all part of the industry. Satanism, this. Again, this is a straight up demonic. Again, devil horns over and over and over again. Over and over again. No doubt about it. Well, thrown the ha satanic hand sign up. Again. What a joke. There we go. Again, thrown up the Illuminati Pyramid, thrown up the 666 hand sign, then thrown up the Illuminati Pyramid right here, and then thrown up the Satanic hand sign at the El de Loblo. And then we got here upside down pyramid, again, this promotion and of the Illuminati. Again, still want to deny it, still want to live in a delusion reality. Again, notice I always said before, the worship of the crescent, the fake, basically, the, again, what does the same thing, the Romans, the Roman fake Catholic Church, the abomination religion, because that's all the Catholic religion is, it's a fake religion, it's full of idolatry. Again, notice the, again, this would simulate one, the sun worship, the sun ray, say again, worship of the sun, the Egyptian mass, basically the dog-headed Egyptian nurse. Notice how they're even dressed like the Egyptians. And again, this would simulate as well the solar, fake solar eclipse. The reason these people worship the solar eclipse so much because it were, it represents the black sun, which originated from the Nazis, which is the black sun. They believe the black sun. It was created by Satan. That's what they actually believe. They actually believe, actually believe that there's, there's two sons. There's not. There's only one. The Bible did not say, and and God formed the earth and there was two sons. It said he formed the earth and he made one light to rule the day and the second one to rule the night. And notice though it says light. doesn't say planet, does it? Like they want to promote all oh, the earth. The earth is a ball. No, it isn't. And as you see, it's complete and utter garbage. Satanism promoted the Egyptian fake gods. So that's really what they were. There we go with the devil horns again. Notice the cross in the background. This is just a complete mockery. They always put the cross in the background. Again, really, the cross is a symbol of idolatry. That, that's what they promoted onto the masses, worship the cross. Why would you worship, worship something that God was crucified on? It is a symbol of idolatry. No one should be worshipping the cross or anything. But again, they just put the cross in the background as a mockery. Again, 666 hand sign, devil horns again. Just can't help the self thrown it all the time, over and over again. Again. Over and over again. Again, metal resistance, Illuminati standing inside, Illuminati pyramid, while promoting the one eye symbolism. What a shock. Not at all. Now we go with devil horns once again. Over and over again. Again, this would be as above, so below. 
Satanism, that's all it is. Satanism in plain sight. And you notice they'll put their hands like the Egyptians used to do. Because uh, again, that's where all this garbage came from. Egypt. The Eye of Horus came from Egypt. They worship the Egyptians as gods. That's what they promote. They've been promoting it for centuries that all the Egyptians were the gods. What is garbage? There we go. Influ uh, of course, influencing people to throw the same stupid hand signs, which is nothing but Satanism. Again, s see the skull in the background, which simulates the skull and bones, the secret society, which are all this one secret society, the pagan love heart in the background. Again, the lightning bolt. That's all this is, the lightning bolt. Again, still want to say they ain't satanic. Why are they promoting the Illuminati pyramid? Again, there you go, right in front of your face. Illuminati pyramid. There you go again, Illuminati triangle, three Illuminati triangles. And again, you got three on here, 33, high degree, Freemasonry. As I said, these people work in signs, numbers, colors. It's what they do. This is the way the elite work. Again, though, it's the red and black colors of Satanism. There we go again. Even the stage lights are built in the, the shape of an upside down pyramid. Uh, again, oh, well, that's just a coincidence. No, it isn't. Even the stage. Is it a Illuminati pyramid in the background? And people still want to say this band ain't satanic. I mean, how delusional are people? There we go again. Over and over again, the same nonsense. Over and over again. There we go again with the devil horns. Uh, there we go, I've already showed that. There we go again. I mean, there's no denying it. There's no denying at all. When someone's throwing it up this much, this many times, there's no excuse. There's no excuse at all. They're doing it deliberately. They know exactly what it means. Even in the so-called rock and roll, they admit they know what it means. It is the devil horns. It is not rock on. It doesn't mean rock on at all. It means the Baphomet. The Baphomet Elder Loblo hand signs. Why do you think it was called the Baphomet hand sign? I'll tell you why. It, it should be pretty obvious. You see the two fingers. The two fingers represent the head of the Baphomet. And then the two fingers represent the horns of the Baphomet. That's why it was called the Elder Loblo hand sign. Because that's what it represents. The head of the Baphomet. The two devil horns. The head of the goat. And again, notice in the background here. Looks like a Baphomet. Wouldn't surprise me if it is. So again, that's why it was called the so-called Elder Loblo hand sign. Because that's what it represents, the head of the Baphomet. And there we go. Stage is built in the shape of a Illuminati pyramid square. Again, cube worship, Mecca, the list goes on, planet Saturn, which doesn't even exist. Again, there we go with the skull and bones. Always promoting the skull worship while throwing the devil horns up. There we go. Throwing out the fake peace sign, which again is just the Baphomet hand sign again. So again, throwing the 666 up, upside down pyramid, which I just showed. The, that was the pyramid that they were, throwing, they were worshipping on the stage. Same thing. There we go. Baby metal. Freemason pillars in the background. This simulates the occult elite, the secret societies that wear the robes at their sex party rituals. That's what it simulates. 
it's exactly what it simulates. Again, one eye symbolism, one eye symbolism. Um, again, of course, the eyes are not obviously red, but they're wearing contact lenses. So, again, promoting Satanism. Red eyes simulates demonic possession, simulates they've got a demon within them. Most of them are demonically possessed to do things like these. Again, of course, promoting the devil horns again. There we go again. Again, notice the wolf. Because again, that's exactly what these people are. Wolves in sheep's clothing. They're fooling no one. This is that one of their logos. It proves again they're promoting Satanism. This is the Baphomet. This is the Baphomet. And again, notice the mask. The letter S. Like again, you ever wonder why? In the movie Superman. They even admit it. In the... I think it's the new movie. Batman vs. Superman. They even admit that the letter S means Satan. It means Satan. It doesn't mean Superman. It means Satan. And that's what it represents. S represents the serpent. Satan. That's what it represents, and they even admit it in the movie. I've never saw it, but I saw a clip, a clip of it. So we know about that. Because they even admit it in one of the scenes that the symbol of S means Satan. is not being Superman. And Superman is just blasphemous anyway. It's a mockery of the Messiah. Again, you see how young they really were. Again, so this is what they were promoting onto them. Again, you see the skull and bones, the skull, which is a symbol that they worship in witchcraft. Well, from the peace sign up and the elder Loblo hand sign. So again, this is how young they were basically into it, introduced into Satanism. There we go. Over and over again. Again, you'll see again, the guitar is in the shape of a lightning bolt. Because that's all where this M, let, style letter M came from. It was the satanic group that calls itself Metallica. Which Metallica is nothing but a garbage band. Every single song that they made sucks. It really does. It's the most trash music you can ever hear. But this is what this simulates. The lightning bolt. That's what it simulates. The lightning bolt. That's what it simulates. Always thrown up the devil horns. Again, what is it? again this symbol? It's just the Freemason symbol. The Freemason compass. Again, shorten this. Cut this off. Cut this off. Shorten this, shorten this, and you have the Freemason G symbol. And again, notice though, they're portraying like they're being crucified. Absolute blasphemy. Uh, and people still want to say, this bond's not satanic. Devil horns again. Again, whether this really happened, I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me would not surprise me with this these industries so we all know what they're like again there we go with the devil to our hands and of course ignore this here because it's just another mockery how they mock people again devil horns again over and over again the same garbage devil horns sticking the tongue out which is a mockery to the masses it's why they do it, and it also simulates the fake goddess, Caliph, which is the Indian goddess, the Hindu goddess that they worship. It's connected to the god of destruction, Shiva, and all that, the fake gods. And again, they, they even got caught again. There we go, right there, 666, six, six. Mark of the Beast, right in front of your face baby metal hailed satan their master 
in a recent photo, because that's exactly who they serve, Satan. That's who they serve. Again, that's just a fact. Six 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 is the name of the of the name of Satan, and it's also the mark of the beast. Right, again, notice again the cross, the the not it's a Nazi cross. This is the symbol that they used to, they used to give the Nazis medals with this exact same symbol on. That's all it is. That's where it originated from the Nazis. People actually think that it originated from the Freemason, the Templars. It didn't originate from the Nazis. And then there we go with the devil horns again. Again in the coffin. Noticed in the background the sun worship. And again, this probably most likely represents. The Virgin Mary, which is nothing but a blasphemous, idolatry image. Free coffins, similar, promoting death, because that's what these people promote. And then most of the heavy metal so-called music songs, yeah, I'm saying, you have them promoting in the lyrics, kill yourself, kill yourself, suicide. So sick these people really are. Again. The amount of times they've thrown it up, there's no denying it now. No arguing, no debate about it, and no arguing. It's a fact. Whether this is real, I really don't know. But it would not shock me one single bit if it, if this was a legit photo. Because again, what does this represent? Alistair Crowley, the Satanist. The Satanist that basically tried to contact Satan himself was a proud Satanist and was also a pedophile. This is just the fact he was a pedophile. Again, there you go again. Illuminati pyramid with the old CNI and I in it. Satanic band, straight up demonic. That's all it is. There you go. And what we got in the middle? Oh, that's right. We got the Kabbalah symbol and we got the Satanic Zionist star. The 666 Zionist star. The so-called Star of David, which isn't the Star of David at all. And anyone that continuously regurgitates that same garbage should actually read the Bible. Because what does it say in the Bible? That this is the Star of Rephraim. There is no mention of the Star of David in the entire Bible. So again, who is lying? Again, the nails, most likely a mockery, because this is what these people do. They mock, they mock the Messiah. All oh, these could represent Roman numerals. Who knows? But again, usually when they use the nail, it's a mockery of what they did to the Messiah on the cross. And this is probably some witchcraft language, because you can see it doesn't even look like English. It's witchcraft language. How they, they read these words to basically put witchcraft spells in someone. There we go again, devil horns. There we go again, notice again. This is absolute blasphemy. This is, again, portraying yourself as Jesus Christ. This is blasphemous. It's not funny, and it never will be. Notice the black cross, which simulates death. Again, these people think it's funny. They think it's funny. Like, like they act like, oh, Jesus Christ was, was just hanging on the cross. No, he was crucified. He had nails through his hands in bearing pain for almost nearly three hours straight. And these people mock that and think it's funny. It ain't funny at all. It's not funny one single bit. And again, you notice this, this is the same as the the stu the accord of the KKK. It's nothing but the same thing. That's all it is. Notice the ghost headed mask. Exactly the same thing that the KKK do. And the K the group the KKK is nothing but garbage to start with. It was created by the Illuminati. That's all it was created by. The Illuminati. Again, so called image 
uh, of a well, woman, most likely a mockery again of the Virgin Mary. And, and this is a, like I said, I've exposed these people so many times now. Again, this is another song where they just throw the devil horns all the way through it. Again, another one. This is not the only instance that they've done it. They've mocked Jesus Christ repeatedly over and over again. And they think it's funny. It ain't funny at all. Again, notes in the background. Looks like the Virgin Mary. Because again, these people, the Catholics and that, worship Mary as the Queen of Heaven. It's blasphemous. There ain't no Queen of Heaven. It's garbage. There's only a king of heaven, and it's called Yahshua, the Son of God, and also Yahweh, the Father, and also the Holy Spirit. Again, this is another one. You should get the point now by uh, me having to expose them this amount of times of how satanic they really are. Again, the portal in the background is a symbol of witchcraft. Again, the skull and bones, satanic, there we go with the devil horns, again, again, over and over, again, the same garbage, devil horns, oh, and look what we have right here, what a shock, not a shock at all, look at that, the old seeing guy, oh, look at it, Looks like the Illuminati Pyramid with the old seeing guy in it. What a shock. Not at all. There we go. Again, throwing the devil horns up right there. Simple as that. And basically after this, this is basically a GIF image. They throw the devil horns up again. So again, creating the pyramid with the devil horns. Oh, but this is not satanic group though, is it? It's not satanic. Again, there we go, the, the sun worship. Again, there we go, satanic Baphomet. I just said whether this is a legit image, who knows? But it still doesn't change the point. The satanic star the Zionist star, the normal star, it's all the same thing. It really is. There's no such thing as a star, David. The stars represent the fallen angels. As I said, Satan is known as bright morning star. That's why they use it. Now we go again with devil horns. There again, fake peace sign. Again, this is another one. They admit right in front of you what they worship is the devil. There you go, Satan, the Baphomet, and demonic spirits, and demons. They admit right in front of you this is what they worship. The Baphomet, the El Diablo, the devil, the he goat head, their goat head fake god. Now we go again, devil horns. And there we go. See again, this is a mockery of the Virgin Mary. This is what this is. And the mocking Christ. Because they think it's funny. It's not funny at all. Again, uh, and it's not surprising that they also promote this. What is this? But what is this? The Ouija board. That's exactly what this is. They've just replaced it with a fox. Moving it around. This is the Ouija board. Of course, they're going to glorify this, aren't they? Oh, go do the Ouija board. Uh, again, this is great. Again, you're calling upon demons. And once those demons are attached to you, you can't get rid of them. You cannot get rid of them. They are attached to you for the rest of your life. So again, there we go with the devil horns. Devil horns. So this is why you can clearly tell that this is what this represents. The, because we all know what this, nobody can deny it's clearly representing the Ouija board. 
where you move the thing around and it goes to a letter again witchcraft devil hunt again it's same as you see there you go well undeniable proof nobody can argue and i'll show you even more how blasphemous their fans really are and as we say you'll see how blasphemous these people really are again you'll see again this is blasphemous colder three sixteen to seventeen this is blasphemous, absolutely blasphemous, it's not funny at all. Into, into, for the fox god so loved the world that he gave us baby metal, that whosoever head bangs to them shall not be bullied, but shall have eternal joy. For the fox god did not send baby metal into the world to condemn metal, but that the world of metal be saved through them absolute blasphemy it's not even funny and these people think it's hilarious to do stuff like this again these people one are going to get what's coming to them as it says you read what you sow like as it says in the bible that when the time of when the time of tribulation comes god's going to laugh at these people's calamity and what is calamity destruction so again when the mark of the beast comes and these people are starving to death. God's going to sit there and laugh. If you think that I'm making this up, it's in the Bible. Go read it. This is what God's going to do. He's going to laugh at them. Laugh at them. And again, it says in the Bible, those that hate, is it not written that God hates those that hate him? Because he does. He hates those that hate him with a perfect hatred. So these people that continuously blaspheme God and think it's funny to do things like this are going to get what's coming to them. As it says, you reap what you sow. Again, wow, that's an awesome, awesome symbol. No, it isn't. It's witchcraft. Again, what a joke. I, I love the picture with evil. Yeah, sure you do. Again, you love evil. But evil ain't gonna win. You read the back of the Bible, and you'll see who wins. I mean, it's just a complete joke. Absolute blasphemy. They think it's funny. It's not funny at all. It is not funny one single bit at all. Again, as you see, even more blasphemy. Judging by the reports, they burned her in both shows. Staff, okay, she's crucified. Shall we baptize her now? I've got a bucket with water handy. Culver, nah, the water is cold. We already lost Yuri. Just burn her. So again, this is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. These people are nothing. So again, no wonder I get people trot the defend these people and start trolling because that's all they are, nothing but trolls. Saying, this band's not satanic, this band's not satanic. No wonder, this is what their fans are like. Blasphemous. Baptized by fire, them. Again, you think it's funny in some game. Look, God, God, God is not laughing. And you, as it says, and God will turn laughing and mocking to mourning. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. All this laughing and this blasphemy now that people in the world think they can do, it's all going to be turned to crying. And as it says, God will laugh at these people when they're crying their eyes out, saying, Help me, God, help me, God. God will go, No. Because as it says, Seek God why while the door is still open. Because when the mercy door closes, if you try to cry out to God, He's not going to answer you. He even says that. So again, absolute blasphemy. They think it's funny. It's not funny at all. Absolute blasphemy. Mom, I crucified my friend yesterday. I, again, absolute disgusting. Absolute disgusting. That's all it said. It's not funny. They think it's funny. We'll see who's laughing on Judgment Day. 
uh, is a kawaii metal band uh, hide and seek uh, again it's just a joke baby metal fans are just going to have to take the good with the bad unless of course they become a kawaii country band the answer is likely associated with the cringe factor resulting from christianity being so tied to the crucifixion of christ despite the fact that the romans crucified tens of thousands only one crucifixion matters again i'm 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 tired of him saying this read the bible the romans didn't crucify the messiah the, jesus even says in his own words who crucified him the zionists that you see today in the abomination state of jerusalem they're the ones that crucified him and they even say in their own words they do it again and uh, they they create their abomination religion called judaism which is nothing but an anti-christ rejecting cult again this is what they've been doing for years and years and years blame it on the romans or the romans crucified the messiah when it clearly says who has the greatest sin the one that put him on the cross or the ones the one that whipped him and jesus says in his own mouths for the one that has the greatest the but the great sin is the one that delivered him over to be crucified so again and it even says in the bible in revelation that it was better for these people to have never been born in the first place because again he ain't coming back with no love you if you think that you need to be wake or come so again it's just a joke absolute joke they blame it yes the romans were part of it but the romans didn't crucify him if you actually read the bible they took him off the cross and what the designers say oh put him back on the cross put him back on the cross he's, he's got a prophecy to fulfill this is how sick these people were they wanted him dead they, and they play the vid they've been saying oh we've been victimized for over 2000 years yeah you killed the messiah you killed the messiah you killed the prophets of the bible and you say oh we, we've been victimized for 2000 years no you haven't you've been victimizing everybody else you've been killing christians you helped because again this just proves that most of these people don't read the Bible because again it clearly says in the Bible that it says the 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 we know who they were the Pharisees and the Sadducees they basically said uh, uh, Jesus when I'm the Son of God and they said now we know that you are a blasphemer and then it, and then they said and then they said we have one father and we have one king and his name is caesar and then he says see he's jesus said something about caesar and what did he say back now we now we know that thou is not of keys caesar and they basically they, they said to the people that basically took him off the cross the romans because that's what they did they took him off and they said to um if you don't put him back on the cross well have you done for treason against caesar so again the then this is why the abomination state of jerusalem the harlot the mother of harlot babylon this is why they they say oh we're, we're, we don't accept the new testament the new testament is in greek it, it, it's a fake book again these people are an abomination they're nothing but liars and deceivers the synagogue of satan the lying antichrist bloodline that's really what they are and and you have many people out there today defending these people like oh these people have been victimized for two thousand years no they haven't they, if you read the bible they killed the prophets they killed the messiah oh but let's all forget about that it happened in the far the past let's just forget about it well jesus hasn't forgot about it so again it's just complete mockery so saying that oh 
and they basically mock it here saying oh jesus jesus died oh so let's make a big deal about that he was the son of god he was crucified brutally and these people are basically slapping god in the face and then therefore any parody of crucifixion outside the content of christ is deemed to be against christ because it is against christ it's anti-christ which is the content of baby metal becomes despite the fact baby metal actually stands for everything god woe to those that call god call evil god and those that put god for evil this is exactly what this person is doing despite despite that the fact that romans killed only one crucifixion matters that was also a what a joke these people are not going to get what's coming to them it's making me sick this reading this it really is it's disgusting i need to add that the crucifixion has a long history in japan outside the content of christianity and religion i don't think many japanese link this act of jesus first again of course given a fake wikipedia which is garbage christianity is not the native religion of japan it is shin shinto so why do christians get so offended uh, again because it's blasphemy that's why because it's blasphemy that's why we get offended because it's blasphemy and if you don't like it too damn bad this is the problem these so-called people out there again they mock god and think oh why did you get so offended again oh but we mock your industry oh we don't like it hypocrite pure hypocrite again crucifixion since the years shows people are just now seeing this bm have also used the baphomet with the fox head instead of the goat head does this make them satanish yes it does also the giant burst the female uh, uh, again this is not the virgin mary the female japanese is a representation of the female goddess again fake goddess fake god idolatry so it's a sin it is a sin as it says the, this is the these people as it says the heathens what is a heathen someone that doesn't believe in god it's exactly what these people are i have heard christians complaining about that the figure on the stage is very ob obviously japanese no it isn't japanese it's christianity and you're just making excuses so you can blasphemy god it's disgusting absolutely disgusting that these people justify blasphemy in god it's all right because when the messiah comes back we'll see who's laughing then all laughing and that will turn and again this is not the symbol of any japanese at all it's the symbol of freemasonry it is simple as that as i said there's the free there's the compass the square and compass uh, again so anyone that trolls and starts saying well the the this band's not satanic it's nothing but a delusional blasphemer and he's going to get what's coming to them man honestly this makes me things like this anger me and make me sick if you're not offended by this then clearly you you stand for blasphemy in god